Okay, so I'm not particularly good at this, but I'm gonna make a video about my Hayward H400 heater. Right here, it's propane fired. And the fact that Hayward would not help me because I'm a consumer, which is quite irritating. So basically I'm a dentist and I have this ultimate set of tools and I can, because my dad was a television repairman. But anyway, I like fixing stuff myself, just the way it goes. Uh, if I can't fix it, I'll call somebody. But uh, I basically downloaded from the internet, it wasn't hard to find, uh, a diagnostic manual that it runs through every single thing of the codes, what it could be for this particular unit. Basically, I was getting a code that said I.O. on the uh, control pad. So I looked it up, I.O. was an igniter issue. Now the igniter is in here. Basically what happens is when there's a call for heat, the board under there sends a signal, the blower kicks on over here, at the same time, uh, first actually it checks and makes sure that there's enough water and there's a, the pressure switch uh, kicks on, a couple of things. But then the, the igniter heats up and if everything checks out, there's a flow of propane and the thing kicks on. So according to the manual, there was no call for the, the igniter IO, igniter issue. So I open this up and obviously I gotta clean it out because some, uh, some little animals got in here. But I check, I'll show you on another circuit board because it wound up being the circuit board. That's the long and the short of the story. Um, the manual shows to check the wiring, check the wires on the igniter for any kind of damage, which there was not. Here's where the igniter plugs in. I actually put the multimeter to this. It was getting 120 volts, which it's supposed to uh, when there's a call for the igniter to go on. Tried it a hundred different times, IO code instantly. So I wound up buying another igniter. I said, okay, not expensive repair, 50 bucks. Amazon, next day, I was all excited. I come out here, put the new igniter in, same exact issue. So what do I do? I go through the, I went through everything in the entire manual. I tested every single thing. I tested the fuses. I tested the circuit. I tested everything I possibly could. Every pressure switch. I get to the end, which I'm not doing so well here, and it says, call Hayward, and it gives you a phone number. Where to call? So I tested everything. All I wanted was a little bit of help from Hayward. So if you call Hayward, my suggestion is pretend you're in the business. Sounds stupid, but, uh, Cut to the chase, they wouldn't talk to me. All right, you have to push one if you're a, a, a repair person, push two if you're a consumer. So Mr. Honesty, here you go, Private knock, contact support. So I contact support and I go through the entire thing, hoping they're gonna tell me what to do because now I got a new igniter. It says, that's all they tell you about the igniter. Uh, no, nothing else. Basically, check the wires, wires are no good, replace the igniter. I did it, still has the code. Getting 120, 120 volts, so what the hell is the problem? I get online with a, a, on the phone call with a young a representative, and she says, to, I, I tell her the whole technical story, she says to me, I'm sorry, you're a consumer, I can't, uh, I can't troubleshoot with you. You have to get a certified repair person in there. I said, are you kidding me? Nope. Can't talk to you at all. That was the extent of our phone call. Extremely frustrating, okay? Uh, maybe liability, what have you, but really not right. So anyway, went into my garage and I had, this happens to be the bad board. The only thing it could possibly be was the board. And I didn't want to spend $180 on a guess. Well, I happened to have one because this board is broken twice. This display board is broken twice. It just seems like being out here in the New York elements, stuff breaks. You know, there's, there's insects in here, there are animals, there's all kinds of stuff. So I took the bad board, which had a different issue. I'm not even sure exactly what it was. I took it out of my garage. 
I took every single con, every single plug off of this. I plugged it in. I turned the power back on and it worked. End of story. So, cutting to the chase, the board was the problem. Okay, so if you get a code on your Hayward heater that says IO, which is igniter issue, and you check the wires, and the wires are fine, you purchase a new igniter, it still says IO, it is your $180 circuit board. Okay, doesn't say that any place, does not say that in the flow chart. They wouldn't talk to me on the phone, but I'm telling you, with your Hayward product, with an IO igniter issue, that's what it is because my issue is fixed. And that's it. Have a nice day.